All right, gang, today we're gonna do another quick video here and we're gonna talk about video ground interference. Uh, so let's say you've got a monitor where you have a situation like I have here. This is a U5002. This is my test tube I used to test all these monitors on. We're running an actual PCB, a uh, UMK3. And I noticed that while I was testing this, so basically, I guess, let me go back. Uh, I purchased this off of eBay already rebuilt and I threw it on my uh, shelf of stuff I need to go through and I'm finally getting around to going through it and it's working and I got everything adjusted and, and when I was doing brightness and contrast I noticed that it's got this interference going on here but the reason for this is I don't have it secured to the frame uh, this, I, I don't really secure these chassis to the frame when I put them on the test tube because they're gonna come right back off you know very quickly so I don't bother screwing them down so this is caused by a video ground problem uh, so if you ever have a situation like this where you've got a, a, a complete cabinet and everything is working but you've got this interference going on here with the image uh, it's a ground problem now not every chassis is like this this one if I was to put the screws in here and ground to the the big ground plane to the frame the interference would go away but I'm making this because I didn't do that and I noticed these interference lines and I want to showcase how to fix that. So if, let's say you have a K7000 or Hanner X MTC 9900 or whatever you have where you're running the system and you've got these interference lines going on here. The quickest and easiest way to fix it is to just ground the frame to the chassis. So any chassis that's out there, you're going to have a heat sink. You have to make sure the heat sink is actually attached to the ground plane of the chassis. In this case, our heat sink for the vertical IC is attached to the, the ground plane of the, the chassis. So all you do is you can take a ground from either your power supply, the field ground, or your regular ground, or if it's easier, you can just go from the DAG wire of your tube to the frame, the ground plane, or heat sink of your chassis, and the interference lines are gone. So if I was to show this in real time, you can see the interference lines, and I'm going to touch the DAG ground back and forth, and you'll see the DAG ground is disconnected. Uh, where did it go? Connected. Disconnected. Connected. Disconnected. Uh, connected. Disconnected. Connected. So if you ever have a situation like this where you've got those interference lines, just add a ground from the DAG ground to your or any ground that you want to use uh, to ground the frame of the chassis to the frame of the tube and boom that's the solution so yeah um, just something quick and easy if you've got ever have a problem like this let's turn that down a bit and that back up okay yeah uh, quick and easy so uh, we are way too blue and too bright still I'm just making adjustments on this so anyway yeah no more interference looks and works perfect so just something I wanted to do quick and easy to uh, show how to fix that so that's about it hopefully you learned something thanks for watching stay tuned for more I appreciate it and we'll see you next time